Hello everyone, it's time for my nonsense again. We're back, um, we were supposed to be on the Xbox 360 this last weekend, but, um, uh, my, my voice was, was kind of gone. My voice is back, I am, I am no longer officially sick, so, um, I, I decided I needed something, I needed something to, uh, I don't know, something easy, something that I could digest, and, uh, we decided with, uh, this weird double pack of Final Fight Double Impact, which includes Final Fight and, for some reason, Magic Sword, uh, Heroic Fantasy. There we are. Isn't that nice? <laughs> you know... Acidonia, that is very nice to hear. I thought I was the only person who got all the gamer points in this piece of shit. <laughs> we are going to have an entire stream dedicated to the game room at some point in the future. And probably Ganbare Natsuki-san. And Green Island. But, but we're here for a singular purpose this evening. Look, I played a lot of City Bomber, <laughs> so <laughs> uh, what we have here is uh, one of the very few games made by a company called Proper Games, who um, made a game called Flock that was published by Capcom. Then they made this, and then not much else afterwards, unfortunately. This was, uh, this came to us in 2010. Oh, thank you so much. That can't be right. There's there's no way that Sardus has been subscribed for 14 months. There's no way I've been streaming for that long. That's impossible. But thank you. And uh, Osaka says hi. <laughs> I know, 14 whole years. Amazing. That's almost how old this game is. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah, still... still Spilt Milk, that's right. Yeah, they, they named themselves Spilt Milk afterwards. So, what we have here is uh, one of many, many double game packs released on uh, digital storefronts. So you had stuff like this, you had Marvel vs. Capcom Origins, you had... Um, uh, hold on, let me turn that down a bit. Uh, you had uh, the Dungeons & Dragons set, the Toe Jam & Earl set, um, for some reason, small collections like this were popular. And, um, so we got, we got Final Fight here. And we got Magic Sword. You can switch between the two. And, uh... Let's, 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 let's this is, uh... Not not a super early Xbox Live arcade port. <laughs> um, so you don't have too many options. You've got enough. Uh, you got you got a couple of. Uh, you have an arcade monitor view, which is always funny. Remastered music, that's interesting. We'll switch that back on. And uh, one, of the, one of the important things about this port is that it does have jump in and jump out online co-op. Which I think this was the first version of Final Fight with online co-op. You know, that's kind of a big deal. And this is the first version of... The first version of Magic Sword with online co-op. Um... <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the other thing. I, I say this isn't super early, but you cannot change your controls. You you, you, you can't do shit. So, uh, that's... That's partly why I'm playing this on a pad, rather than the, the arcade stick. And there's very basic instructions. Very, like, four pages of instructions. You, you don't get much. Now, um... But this also has a vault full of unlockable stuff. 
there's some there's some nice uh some nice uh oh there we go here's the uh the flyer art uh the background anyway of of the many heroes you will find in magic sword heroic fantasy but we'll oh, here we go a land of fantasy created for the cp system cp system number 11 uh, how's the audio, by the way? I, I, I assume you can hear me. An expansive world of fantasy, similar to those made popular in home computer and board games, finally implemented to the full power of Capcom's CP system for incredible realism and graphics of masterpiece quality. Uh, thanks. In this game, Capcom has implemented many revolutionary new ideas in animation to make the characters come alive. The world of fantasy unfolds over the course of 50... 50 levels? <laughs> Each individually ca crafted to capture the hearts and minds of players everywhere. I will battle the hosts of hell and destroy the evil crystal black orb so that light may live again. A brave man has risen to defeat the demon Drachmar, who has revived to create a lightless earthly hell. The brave one must battle his way to the 50th floor of the dragon's tower using his skill with the sword and magic to defeat the multitude of evil minions, chimera, orcs, dragons, trolls, all wait to taste his blood. Excellent. So, um, who do we, what do we got? Choose your starting point. If you do not wish to start at the beginning, you may choose to begin on floors 5, 9, 13, 22, 26, 30, or 33. No more wading through the early stages to get to the new. Obtain six different swords. Twenty-four items. And uh, so the big gimmick of Magic Sword is that you recruit allies along the way. So we we could we could pal around with a lizard man, a knight, a priest, an Amazon, a ninja, a wizard, a thief, or a big man. Big man. Big man. <laughs> See, that's the uh, product description. Oh, okay. One more thing before we before we fully get started. We got some. Uh, this would be the marquee and border art. Very nice. Oh, I can't read that though. <laughs> okay. So. Um, yeah, what was nice about this is it includes a bunch of unlockable extras. Including one very special extra for Final Fight, which maybe we'll see a little later. I don't know. So, let, let's... I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Hmm. Big, yeah, big man. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Taco. So, okay, I'm going to show the first stage with um so hold on wait 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 okay start at the beginning there we go that this is how we play uh, you might notice you can't pause because the game Essentially lets you uh, lets people join in at any time, so it's kind of a little always on online. The PS3 version forces you to always be online, which was a bone of contention when this was first released. So yeah, these these are some hot jams. I just want to show them off because we won't be hearing them. <laughs> I feel. Since we may not be able to see this version again for a while, uh, we're going to play the remixed music. So we'll, 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 we're just going to demonstrate sort of the original music and then move on. Uh, the, the coins are just for points. Don't, don't get excited. You got a falchion. Uh, 
Yeah, they they put it in. I want to say they put it in Bionic Commander Rearmed 2 as well. Anyway, that's the classic music. We're not going to hear that again. <laughs> Oh, what is nice is that there's a, it keeps a, it's like a, a, a local high score table showing all your friends. Who's this Lord BBH guy? He seems pretty good. Okay, let's, uh, let's fix the options. Oh, we can have it widescreen. We'll, we'll, we'll just do something. <laughs> Okay. So you can watch the attract mode if you so desire. Although it forces you into this view for some reason. Big man. As you can see, he gets stronger and stronger as you level him up. It's almost like an RPG. Ninja. Fast, but not so powerful. So this is... This is a pretty odd game. King's Crown, Magical Protection. Nice. Heroic Fantasy. So this has like... Oh, they changed the copyright date as well. Once again, the sky darkens under evil's threat. At Drokmar Keep, the dragon's tower glows red. The black orb has been reawakened. Destroy it and bring light back to our world. So yeah, this is, this feels like uh, one of, like a handful of, I guess you'd call them character action games that Capcom were doing at the time. This reminds me a little of stuff like uh, Tiger Road and Cheeky Cheeky Boys, but it's, uh, it's a little more refined than Tiger Road. And I guess this sort of leads into stuff like the Dungeons and Dragons games, because it's very clearly... Uh, you know, inspired by that kind of thing. Hall of Valiance. They spelled Valiant wrong. That's fine. I want to see the intro with the sword. Where is it? It'll show up. Ah, here it is. For you see, the true magic was friendship. Hang on, wait, wait a minute. Oh fuck, I can't pause. I need to I need to fuck with the volume and I can't pause the goddamn thing. There we go. Yeah, they did. There's stuff like King of Dragons and uh King of Dragons in particular. G good for them for getting that license in the end. Okay, we're back in business. So yeah, the, the the remixed music is sort of an orchestral score that's it's fine, I guess. But we won't be hearing it ever again, so we may as well. But the main thing is you want you want to pick up keys to open doors. Cause if you open doors Wait a minute. You get friends! And they fight by your side. So let's let's go with the big man. <laughs> Here he is. He's just a, he's just a large lad, a big fellow, a big boy. And they level up. Uh, they, they can level up, so they become more more powerful. It's pretty interesting. It's kind of a shame you can't play as them directly though, because uh, I, I kind of would have liked to do that. Kind of similar to Cheeky Cheeky Boys, this has a, a charge mechanic for your basic weapon. You got a Falchion. 
So they said, uh... They said there were, um... 50 levels, and they're not kidding. There's there's genuinely 50 levels in this game. This is this is kind of a long one. We're gonna be here a while. But the structure is pretty interesting. Most of the stages are very uh, kind of small. Like they're not they're not the, they're not like massive levels. It kind of reminds me of all things of like single player platform, the single screen platformers. You know, I'll stick with Big Man for now. Actually, let's go with Priest. Let's see what he got. Lever up. Let's go and be careful. So yeah, these, these aren't the longest stages on Earth. Anyway, here's a Moai head. Yeah, sadly there's no there's no street smart esque bootleg of this one. <laughs> you also get a magic attack that uh, reduces your health. A sure killing technique, if you will. Oh dear, I've been poisoned. Help me out. Uh, I don't got... Do I got keys? I don't think I do. Nope. No keys for that one. Sorry, friend. Things are looking pretty grim for our hero. Oh. That must be the magician. Continue countdown. We are going to try and finish this. I'm going with Amazon. Let me... Thank you. The poisonous mushroom will numb you. Yep, I found that out the hard way. Thanks. I like the, I like the heat haze effect here. As there's a lot of different environments, to be fair. Take me out. Oh, and that means our uh, Amazonas levels up. Set me free. Nope. No can do. Oh, oh, oh dear. <laughs> we, 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 we managed to survive somewhat. Oh! Something wicked is nigh. Take care. Hold on. Wait a minute. The witch hat is on. There we go. So, uh, I think this is an indication that a boss is approaching. See, we haven't been playing too long and already we're, we're sort of this far in. Oh, this seems like a boss to me. <laughs> I am of the line of the great dragon. I'll put an end to... Your little adventure. Oh! Oh, that is a dragon. I see. I see. Oh, ow. Oh. Okay, that's one dragon down. We take those. And we got a new sword. You got a samurai sword. And so every couple floors after a boss, you get a sort of summary of things here. You get some health up. And then there's these like interstitial floors that aren't very long at all. Just sort of a ca an opportunity to catch your breath. I did it. I destroyed the dragon. Now, one of the things that's really nice about this uh, port is it does something I haven't seen very often. Um, 
it saves your progress at every floor, right? So if you happen to have a disconnect during your game, you can actually just resume from where you where you left off uh, with with the person you were playing with. That's such a nice feature because I've absolutely had cases with re-releases of old games with online where like something goes horribly wrong and we get disconnected. The white wizard can defeat even undead creatures. Oh. This is uh, this is a warp. That there are hidden warps. I hear water. Let's hurry. Next floor 11. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we just walked from 7 to 11. There's probably a joke there for our American reader, uh, viewers, but uh, no. <laughs> Yeah, there, there's definitely room for improvement, and it's kind of a shame proper games didn't get to do any others like this. They, they certainly would have been a step above some of those digital eclipse ones. Here's the thing I want to know, though, more than anything. Why was this- why was Final Fight paired with Magic Sword? I- I- I don't- Oh, is that a giant blue bear? Yep, that sure is. Evil seems to fill the air, be careful. Ooh, I do, I do, I do want these health items, yes. That probably wasn't worth it, that's fine. Oh, last time! <laughs> You're just in time to relieve my boredom. Come, let's play. Oh, another, it's, it's Dargan time once more. Oh no, it's Chimera. Come on. Whoop. And that's another one down. Oh, what sword do we get this time? You got a broadsword. Yeah, that's true. I don't think many people would buy a magic sword on its own. Okay, here's the game I think they should have paired it with. Captain Commando. Because um, people like that game. And uh, um, it's set in the same city as, as Final Fight. There's continuity. We finally destroyed Chimera. Let's move on. Chimera spelled wrong, but that's fine. <laughs> now, I don't have a source on this. But I remember hearing somewhere that Microsoft in particular wanted to crack down on single game re-releases and insisted on games being paired together. That's that's why uh, there were so many sort of collections like that. But I, I cannot for the life of me remember a source for that, so um, don't take that as gospel. Let me... Okay, there we go. Thieves can detect the treasure chest's traps. But yeah, you see what I mean about the level structure? Like, the levels are, like, really short, but they're densely packed. I think that's an interesting approach. Especially for an uh, evacuate me. I'd love to, but I don't got no keys. Is this a key? Nope. Let's go, big man. Ah, wait, hang on. Thank 
That's a good thank you, by the way. I do like that. <laughs> I hope it's coming through on the uh, the capture. That is, that is the other thing, yes, because Captain Commando is four player. That that's fair. Listen to that wind. What's that sound? Th 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 that isn't to knock uh, Magic Sword as a game, by the way. I think it's pretty interesting. I just... it's just a strange combination. Really interesting. Did they did they make good on that threat? <laughs> oh no, they they didn't. What's that noise? It must be the growl of the dragon. Man, we're fighting a lot of bosses already. I I, I kind of want my Amazonist friend. Oh, hello. <laughs> not even not even a polite introduction for this guy. Uh, okay, we'll take it. The... Get rid of me. <gasps> lizard man, let's go. Oh, the lizard man's cool. You are a good friend, sir. Oh, that was that was a trap. Nope, don't have a key. This blaze feels like it's straight from the demon pits. Oh, that that's a that's a that's a low health siren if ever I've heard one. It's even like a little mini map. That's a nice little touch. Remove me. <laughs> oh, the text is so good. Yeah, I heard about there's the Sonic one because you know, Sonic 06 does somewhat live in infamy. <laughs> Can't imagine why. The Black Wizard's magic has no effect on dead creatures. Man, that is that is quite the low health siren. <laughs> it's pretty good. Oh, nope, and I'm dead. Yeah, now I have a Namco Museum on 360. That is a strange one. How do I how do I get down? They sure did love their sampling machine. We, aha! I see. I understand. Yeah, I, I have um, Namco Museum on on 360. Extremely strange game. Oh, that was a lot. That was a little train of ghosties. Cute. The king's crown gives magical protection. Oh yeah, that's right, the stages loop around as well, so you technically can't get lost. And sometimes they just overlap that. The gauntlet incre enhances swordplay. So yeah, this is, a, this is a kind of a dense game. I imagine if you, like, get into this, you'd super get into it. I think it's fine. There's absolutely like some huge super fans out there. Th 
the weird thing to me about uh, Namco Museum on 360 is like it has, I'm pretty sure it has Sky Kid, Kid DX for some reason. Like the, I don't think that had been re-released up to that point. Sky Kid Vanilla had, but not not the DX version. Oh, spiders! No, get them off. Leave her up. No, I don't want you. Nah, I'm good. I'm gonna stick with my lizard pal. What is this strange atmosphere? We may never know. Oh, oh, this looks like a boss. Welcome, mortal man. It was kind of you to come. My sons are hungry and now I won't have to hunt for them. Okay. What the? Oh, oh my. <laughs> Hello there. All sons of old gods die? No, that's the wrong game. We're gonna... Uh... Yes, uh, they wanted to do uh, Aerocross for the... That was PS3 and 360. Alongside some kind of weird remake of Dancing Eyes. I think all that exists of that is a weird promotional video. Ah. Oh, damn. Come out. Wherever you are. Aha! The lizard man is doing his best. Hey, there we go. And our prize is... You got a flame sword. Nice. These monsters are fearsome. D do they really try and block up loads of that trailer? <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> They're so embarrassed. They're like, oh, please no. D <laughs> please don't let anyone remember Dancing Eyes. What a, what a what a long journey in the tower it has been. I want that stuff. Give me that. Give me that stuff. There we go. Let me in. The final fight, double impact site is still up. That rules. Thank you for finding that. Oh, <laughs> to no shock. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I will check that out later. Can I can I tell my friends about this upcoming game? Is there is there a is there a send an email to a friend to challenge them to final fight? <laughs> a special guest appearance from the Moais of. Uh... Gradius fame, obviously. Oh, my lizard man died. Oh, nope. <laughs> you know what? You got me. Okay. You got me fair and square. Ooh, we haven't seen this guy yet.
there's said to be a secret door in the tower. That is a reference to the many warps that you can find. Um, let, let, let me find a safe place to stand. <laughs> Uh, where is it? Yeah, if you ever wanted to know where all the warps are in this game, which is necessary for getting all of the achievements if you're into that sort of thing, uh, there you go. There is one missing. There's, uh, there's a warp in the very first stage that doesn't seem to be well documented, but it's not it's not required for, uh, for this game. Presumably, uh, proper games couldn't find it either, so... <laughs> Ooh, lobster. Nice. No, no, I'll stick with my night friend for now. Until we get the Amazon back. Where is Key? Okay, that'll do. The darkness grows stronger. Oh, hello! <laughs> Hi there! <laughs> I do like when sometimes the bosses just appear out of nowhere. They, they catch, catch you by surprise. <laughs> Hi, Tremmy! Yeah, that was, uh, that was, uh... Hock to no shock set that off pretty early. I, I don't know what Sega's deal with the Revenge of Death Adder is. Uh, that Don't be beguiled by the power of the Black Orb. That is foreshadowing. <laughs> For this game has two endings. And we're already like uh, a third of the way there. We're doing pretty good. I want my Amazon friend back though. No. Oh, we haven't seen Ninja. Let's see what he's up to. Oh, sorry. No, it was Bit on the Code. My mistake. I, I misread. Thank you, Bit on the Code, for giving me the necessary intelligence to play uh, Magic Sword. <laughs> Sega have done everything to release Revenge of Death Adder on anything except consoles. I think it's on the Astro City Mini, it's on... I think it's on a 1-Up cabinet, I think? Arcade 1-Up cab, but like, no, nothing else. <laughs> ah, my lobster. Yeah. Is that the one that had, like, Wrestle War on it? Or am I getting mi I think I'm getting mixed up with something else. <laughs> it's like you had a really weird set of games on it. Uh, 32. The souls of our fallen warriors will join our battle. The, the implication is that the weapons we're picking up are from uh, people who have come before us and failed. In this sense, uh, Magic Sword is an early roguelike, but um, tish. Uh, I'll be here all week. Thanks. Try the fish. Oh yeah, it was on the Astro City Mini Fight V, which I I wasn't interested in. Oh no, I'm cursed. Help me, ninja friend. Thank you. Let's find that sword. Oh shit, which which arcade one up was it? <laughs> I saw one in a, a toy shop while I was in Ireland, but it wasn't switched on and the buttons looked completely fucked. It was a Street Fighter one. Sega continues to push Wrestle War. 
Although weirdly the Mega Drive version they've only re-released once. That was on the um Fuck, where was it? Uh the the Dreamcast uh Sega Smash Pack. Get rid of me. Ah, hi Amazon. Let's go. Okay, you know what's you know you know what's wild about that uh um that that X Men Captain America one, um that has uh, Avengers in Galactic Storm on it with online play. I want to play that so bad. <laughs> the sword has great magic. <gasps> There's a title drop. If by terrible sound emulation you mean. The greatest sound emulation to ever exist. <laughs> oh, uh, the the re the retro pals wants because you can basically trick that emulator. You can they put their emulator on the disc so you can just use it for whatever you want. Uh, the retro pals once played cl um cl what is it? Richard Scary's Busy Town on it. <laughs> And the voices are so fucked up, it's amazing. It's so good. <laughs> not good for actual pur not fit for purpose, but very good for comedic purposes. <laughs> oh yeah, Kiddo Cabooses, they they're cool. I like them. They are. Uh, they saved the annotations of my New Zealand story video, so they're good people. The sword thunder will rend darkness from the sky. Uh, sorry, I have to. <laughs> I have to have a moment. I've just read the sentence. The piss emulator. <laughs> I'm. I do not know what to do with this information. I'm scared. No, I don't want a lizard. Lizard man, let's go. You are my new best friend. Man, there's, there's still normal bears hanging out this high up in the tower. They must be pretty strong. Things are starting to get a bit rough. But, you know, we haven't really been playing that long and we're, we're already at level 35. You know, this, this game is... It does go on for a while, but it's it's quite nicely paced. It, it keeps, keeps things going. I kind of appreciate that. The evil of this place chills my soul. <laughs> That's good. Great Drokmar, give me power. Release the Hydra from the Shadow World. Uh-oh. This doesn't sound good. Oh, it's 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 another dragon. <laughs> I don't, I don't think we're getting it done this... Oh, maybe, maybe. <gasps> My lizard friend, no, I will avenge you. Be gone, foul beast. And uh, what weapon do we get? You got... A great sword. <laughs> is that an improvement? I'm not sure. Oh, time is passing as we are in the castle. Oh, no. 
that was a mistake. I'm still shaking, but the dragon is dead. Oh dear. No, I want to get rid of them. That's the other game this kind of reminds me of. It's a little Rastan-esque with, with sort of its uh, world and its it, multitude of items. Plays very differently, obviously, but you can, you can I, I can sort of see a through line there. <laughs> Magic sword out of context. <laughs> Good. Oh, no. Okay. I guess it gives you a random helper on uh, on continue. No one has survived beyond this point. Oh, hey, 39. That's the lucky number. Oh, I love that heat haze effect, though. That's so cool. That's the power of the CP system. Okay, let's let's see who do we got. Nope, not you. Oh well. Drachma has the black orb. Oh yeah, that's right. You you get to you get to choose. Um, yeah, because there's a select partner thing. Kind of a shame you can't do that at the when you start a normal game, but maybe they wanted you to sort of naturally discover the, the, the helpers. If we capture it, we can destroy it with the sword. Uh, yes, this version does have remastered music. However, when I get a second, when I get a moment of peace and quiet, Because you can't pause properly. Uh, yeah, you can... You can switch it on and off at will. But yeah, this is the only version of the game that uses this remastered soundtrack. You won't get it anywhere else. We'll switch it back on in a in a moment. Oops. Okay. It's a little awkward, but it works. <laughs> the black orb is evil's ultimate treasure. They're really setting up this black orb thing. I'm sure. I'm sure this won't be uh, foreshadowing of any kind. Oh no! There's the trap. Nope. Hey! Don't give me a mushroom. <laughs> Eh, may as well. The Black Orb is the root of Drokmar's power. Oh hey, we're near the end. Look at that. <laughs> thank you, thank you for that. That's... <laughs> I'll, I will have to look that up later. <laughs> Get off me. Oh, there's the blue bear again, and he's gone. Oh, you got the thunder sword. Okay, that seems all right. 
If the black orb is destroyed, evil will fade. Seems like the game really wants us to uh, get rid of this whole black orb thing, huh? And I'm sure we will. We definitely won't give in to, to temptation. Surely not. We must restore light to the suffering people of the world. Okay, god damn it, this music kind of sounds like Star Wars music and I don't know why. <laughs> oh, that's gonna bother me. Nope, that was a trap. Uh, yeah, come with us, Sir Knight. Destroy the black orb at any cost. Athena's shining crystals making an appearance in 19 before 94. Yeah, oh, you hear it as well, huh? Yeah, no, you can't escape it. No, we'll, we'll stick with the, the night. Oops. And we're dead. Someone on Capcom's staff must have absolutely loved drawing giant coins. <laughs> they're in this, they're in Cheeky Cheeky Boys. You need the final key to meet Drokmar. And we are approaching the final, the final scene. Open Drakmar's door with the key. Only a key opens the door. Open the door. Quartet. Come on. <laughs> that is, that's a joke for nobody. That's a joke only for me. <laughs> Okay, who, who do we got? Uh, Knight, okay. No, this one? Oh, no, Scaly Mans. Anyone? Oh, we haven't seen this guy much. Let's give him a shot. Oh, he's got orbs. Okay, we should have used this guy earlier. Oh, he's got hella orbs. They say evil beasts hold the key. I've waited centuries for one such as you. Only the pure and brave man is a fit sacrifice for my Lord Drokmar, King of Shadow. Okay, let's see what you got. Oh, it's just a chimera. Oh, okay. Listen, I, I thought like three chimeras on my way up here. You're going to have to do better than that, buddy. <laughs> I am not impressed. <laughs> oh, there's the key. Here we go. Oh, light, give me courage and power. Welcome to Drokmar's palace. Go straight ahead if you want to find the black orb. Our lord is awaiting you. Okay, uh, 
good goodbye my bitrate, I guess. <laughs> Graphical effects going all in on this one. Oh. Welcome. You have proved a nuisance so far, but now I will conf confine all light within the black orb. Then I will have ultimate power. This is a uh, this is our boy Drockmar. There's there's probably a better strategy than the one I am currently employing. <gasps> My friend. My, my confidant, lizard man, you've returned to me. Oh, I, how I have missed you. If, if lizard man dies during this fight, I'm going to cry. Please live, friend. Ah! There we go. I can't believe it. Defeated so close to my ultimate victory. This black orb is the talisman of evil power. With it, you could have eternal life and control of the world? Take it in your hand and become a god. Huh. Godhood, you say? Hmm. Yes! Let's go, let's go! The warrior that the people put their faith in was corrupted by the temptation of power and became the new Dark Lord. Who will save the world now? Oh. Uh oh. Oh, I think... I, th I think we fucked up. <laughs> I think we fucked up. L listen, they, they offered me godhood. What am I, sp what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Now, one thing that does kind of I don't like about this port is um, when it, when it gets to time to enter your name, it sort of kicks you out, and the game kind of ends. It's a little awkward. <laughs> Magic Sword Two, <laughs> Lizard Man's Revenge. So yeah, uh, I I like this. Um, I'd like to learn to play it a bit better. It's pretty interesting though. And if you'd like to play it yourself, um, it's on Capcom Arcade Second Cabinet. And I believe it's in uh, Street Fighter VI as an arcade game you can play for some reason. <laughs> I do feel a little bad for Lizard Man, but eh. Godhood seems pretty, seems like a pretty alright deal. For now though, I tell you what, let's, let's take a quick look at the vault. So, uh, the way this works is, like, you, you got stuff like beat all stages in co-op, get points, find the secret levels, and then you got a bunch for finding the secret warps. So let's see what we got here. There's our hero, Alan. That is true, this is forward compatible with uh, everything, so... That, that's an option, okay, we saw that before. Here's art for the Amazonas. The big man himself. Just, just a big guy. And there's the flyer, we saw that. Oh, there was something else here. Ooh, concept art. Thief and Knight. Pixel development. Oh, so there's all the animation frames. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, here's the, here's the Japanese version of the flyer. 
Some of them are in English. Amazons. Good. Good. Here's the concept art for this menu. That's cute. The fire dragon. The chimera. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a good face. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, there's there's our buddy the knight. Here's the original logo, Heroic Fantasy. What's uh what's this logo? Was this was this on the flyer? No, it doesn't look like it. Maybe it's a marquee or something? It's pretty nice. Oh, here we go. Okay, this is the, this is the other side of the flyer. Rise, brave one, and defend the world from darkness. Two-player interactive. Battle through all 50 floors with sword and magic. Yeah, what else you got? Uh, here's that same poster in Japanese. And here's another one, also in Japanese. <gasps> there he is. There's my boy. My dude. I'm sorry I betrayed you. <laughs> and uh, there's the thief. There's not much in the vault for Magic Sword, unfortunately. There's a lot more for Final Fight. <laughs> But it's nice that they included it, you know? Oh, was that used for the Super Famicom port? Okay, thank you. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, there was a there was a, a SNES port of this, which was released outside of Japan as well. But uh, you have, you've got plenty of options if you want to play it nowadays. If you want the extra features, you know, this, this version isn't bad. And, you know, it's got online co-op, which is a plus. Anyway, uh, we have another game to play. Let me just make sure that the remixed music is on. Yes, it is. And uh, we'll be right back. Uh, I'll just need a quick break and we'll play through Final Fight. We'll actually get to the end. Thank you, Akio Tsuka. <laughs> hey, it worked this time. Nice. Okay, I'll see you all in five minutes. Bye-bye.
Now we're back now. So, um, uh, you heard of this final fight? They say it's the last fight of all. Just like the Final Fantasy. Um, very basic how to play. The Mad Gear Gang is trying to take control of Metro City and has kidnapped Jessica, the mayor's daughter. Hagger is her father, the mayor. Cody is her boyfriend. Guy is Cody's best friend. Ah, they're besties. Choose a hero and save the damsel in distress. Yeah, there's there's not you don't you don't get much. And one thing you may have noticed, which is another criticism, there's no options either. There's no dip switches. It's unless it's in custom game. Oh yeah, there is a. Uh, you get very basic uh, options. Sometime in the 1990s. Hello, Mike Hagger here. He he he, Mr. Hagger. So please, yeah, we we all know this intro. <laughs> it's it's going by a little too fast for me to keep up. is this now uh, this is a remixed soundtrack but it's diff it's distinct from the tease music soundtrack for the Sega CD version Capcom presents Yeah, the difficulties are a little vague. So who's this guy? Oh, it's Guy. He has mastered the art of ninjutsu and attacks with an unequaled steeds. Oops. Not, not enough time. I, I have no idea who the fuck this is. No one ever plays him. He's a martial arts expert. He's especially good at knives. He is a former champion street fighter capitalized. <laughs> so let's get started. Obviously. This, for what it's worth, I think this soundtrack's pretty great. <laughs> I actually really like this remix soundtrack. It, it's just, I remember people were disappointed that it wasn't the tease music one, which, you know, that's fair. They hadn't heard that since the Mega CD days, so. So we saw, we saw the Mega CD version of this on the Mega Drive Mini 2. And this is the, this is the full-blooded arcade release and you know what the mega cd didn't do too bad a job it did its best poor hagger struggles against hollywood though where is his pipe he misses his pipe You know, the, the main thing that the Mega CD version was missing was uh, a lot of colour information, because, you know, limited palettes and all that. And frames of animation, but I think generally it did a pretty good job. Much better than the SNES version, which, you know, was missing quite a few things, to put it mildly. Like, Snow's version didn't even have these transitional scenes. Oh, feels good. There's my pipe. The other thing a lot of home conversions miss out on is the sheer amount of 
enemies on screen, which we'll get to. Uh, don't expect a 1cc, by the way. This is a... Uh, I am... I'm, I'm not great at this game. I try... Feels good. Yes. Oh, no. Really? The X68000 version only had like half the enemies on screen at once? Makes sense, I guess. I mean, it was a pretty top of the line arcade game uh, when it was first released, so, you know, that's fair. Although, once again, uh, the X68000 isn't necessarily the home of, of excellent, arc of perfect arcade game ports, despite what everyone else says. <laughs> Zealand, yeah. <laughs> it all returns to the New Zealand story. Ooh, can I can I get my hands on the sword? Muramasa, let's go. Just just walk into my sword, sir. Ah, that's right. Um, I don't know if anyone's actually ever played this, but there is an, a, 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 an, another PS2 and Xbox version of uh, Final Fight that not many people have probably seen. It's included as an extra on Final Fight Streetwise. <laughs> and if I remember right, it runs at like 30 frames per second. It is amazing. It's superb. Flawless. I say no one would have seen it because, you know, not many people have played Final Fight Streetwise. Because uh, if they had, they'd know it's like the greatest game ever made. <laughs> I played through Streetwise in a single weekend and it was totally worth it. It is complete nonsense from start to finish. You think that it's like a, 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 a Grand Theft Auto San Andreas kind of thing? Uh, no, no, it turns into zombie revenge by the end of it. <laughs> it's it's so dumb. It's it's beautiful. Oh, this is funky. Oh, I like this. Yes, uh, there was the Digital Eclipse Capcom Classics Collection, which is a much better option. I, I swear, at some point, I will stream Final Fight Streetwise. I want to show that game off. <laughs> it's it's really charming. I, I, I'm, I'm, I might have a soft spot for it. It's kind of weird to think, though, that for a long time there wasn't a, a perfect home version of this game, despite how important it is. It's only the PS2 era that we started getting them. Ow, 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 get off. Uh, yeah, 
yeah, I guess it's kind of like Altered Beast. That game got slightly nuts, but not nearly as nuts as, as Final Fight Streetwise did. That game is completely bonkers. And nobody knows about it because they never play past the first area. They, they don't know about the game where you... <laughs> where you stomp cockroaches. They don't know. They must know. They need to know. Muramasa. There we are. Okay, this isn't one of the better remixes, but then they, they can't all be bangers. Yes, uh Honestly, it was like that PS2 era was when I first played Final Fight properly. I'd never played it before then. Never played the SNES version, you know, none of that. I would like to beat this game in less than 9 continues, we shall see. I know not to take the sword. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not that dumb. Is this it? Have I downloaded him already? <laughs> I'm not very good at this. Defeat my body splash if you can, coward. Oh man, I, I was so close. I've never beaten him without dying before. That would have been great. Uh, I'll take this though. And now it's time for the classic. Brake car. Can do. Well, hopefully. There we are. Close enough. Say the line. Oh my god. He's so upset. Oh my car. <laughs> Also, surf, very important. Ah, ooh, ooh. I want my I want my pipe back. <laughs> this is this is getting dicey. Ah. Of course the, the, the strategy with Hagger is to use his throws to clear space around you. Uh, clearly I'm not very good at that strategy. <laughs> That's uh, yeah, Metro City's pretty rough. Sometimes the mayor just decides you, you don't have a car anymore. I, I can do this all day. <laughs> yeah, you can't say that in an arcade game. Final fight will. Actually, we're going to see um, something that was cut from the Mega CD version shortly. I think. I seem to remember. Yeah, this is a bar now. It's no longer a cafe. I mean, it was very clearly a bar to begin with, but... Oh, no. Keep, gotta keep him away from me. Ah, oh. 
up another one. I, I would like to not die here. That would be nice. Oh, hello! <laughs> you just decided to drop in. Now, you don't want to use the pile driver too much because all it really does is half the opponent's energy. So it gradually gets weaker and weaker. You kind of want to focus on using the, um, the, the, the suplex. Uh, he's taking us for a ride. Ah oh, yes, drum and bass, let's go! No, I don't want to switch weapons. Oh no. Father Andor and Grandfather Andor. Oh yeah, for sure, there's definitely other fighting uh, games with this. With, with, with cusses in them. Is it, uh, which Samurai Showdown is it where Galford says shit? I'm pretty sure that he says it in one of them. Maybe in like the Japanese version, but it's spelled in English. See, even before Marvel 3, Mahaga was a menace with the pipe. They, they knew, they knew. Now that we've walked all the way back. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Alien 3, the gun does have the, the main guy say, oh, shit. <laughs> I like that one. Ooh. Hey, an extend, nice. We're not actually doing too bad on credits. Usually I'm way worse than this. I'll take that. Oh yeah, uh, Alien 3 the gun does not follow the plot at all. Oh, it does have the beer item. I was wondering. So I know they, they slightly cut the intro for this, uh, for the English version. Surf. Yes, that's very important. Surf. Also, apparently 2P is named 2P because he's meant to be the second unknown soldier from Forgotten Worlds. Now you know. Anyway, it's time to fight a cop. We can, we can eat his gum if we so choose to, and we will. Gross. Anyway, it's time for us to, it's time for him to shoot us a lot, so get ready for that. No, not this time. Ah, I have you now. Yes. Oh, so close. Yes. Not this time, Eddie. You, you defeated me in the Mega CD version, but not this time. Oh, poor Hagger. He has such trouble keeping up with him. Yes. Feels good. And now, uh, a site unfamiliar to SNES players, the industrial area. Completely cut from the SNES version. Porting, porting games is hard. Let's just leave it at that.
there is a strategy for not getting burnt by the flames. I sure don't remember it. Like, there's a specific spot you need to stand in, and I can never remember where it is. So, I'm just gonna eat shit for a while. <laughs> don't mind me. Yep, cart sizes are rough, especially early in a console's lifespan. I, th I think we're nearly out of here anyway. Oh, no. Oh, two swords! Oh, you're spoiling us! <laughs> wow! You don't see that very often. <laughs> For you and your partner. <laughs> they, they've, got, they've got matching um, sheets. Isn't that cute? But yeah, as you can see, a lot more enemies are starting to show up um, than you might see in some of the console versions. This eventually reaches its apex in the final stage, which gets really silly, but that's part of Final Fight's charm. Ah, no, get off me. And if you're playing as Guy here, you can use his uh, wall kick to your advantage. Just a shame we're not playing as Guy and we're not going to. <laughs> You can also play as, um, if you're playing as Cody, you can use the knives that will inevitably be thrown by Elgato and Hollywood to, to get an advantage too, but Hager just has to use his fists. It's all he's got. Power of the Capcom play system one. <laughs> Hi, Shark. <laughs> Mayor Mike Hager with a katana isn't real, he can't hurt you. <laughs> oh, hello there! Uh, welcome! Y you, you are never ob obligated to talk in chat, but if you enjoy my stream, thank you very much. You, you can just, you can just, you can just hang out, we don't, there's no... There's no problem with that here. Anyway, here's uh, Street Fighter Alpha 2 Superstar Relento. Oh, no. Oh, I picked up the stake too early. A critical mistake. <laughs> I'm just barely keeping them off me. Oh, this is tense. Valento kind Oh, he's got a wall kick as well. Good for him. And this is when he gets kind of nuts. Oh! Uh, actually, what I meant to say was this is an easy game for babies. <laughs> wow, that was that was pretty clean. Break glass. Can do. You have to line this up properly, otherwise uh, the glass will spin out and hurt you. Can we get the perfect? Can we do it? Probably not. Oh, no, 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 no. We just barely got enough time. Yes. Yeah, uh, I'm I, I'm a little gutted I didn't get a Deathless on Sodom. That got really close though. Anyway, most important stage of the game. 
This is my favourite scrolling brawler stage of all time. <laughs> Mostly for the presentation. Yeah, no, no one was around to mourn the glass, alas. He's, yeah, he's on his way. Just, just, just a few short screens away. The best character in Capcom game history. Just, just, we, we just gotta wait. Gotta be patient. Oh, 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 he's just on screen. There he is. This is a, uh, this is the Bay Area dog. It is real dog hours. Yes. And this is Shiro. Uh, that's, that's the dog's name. And he's best friends with Guile's dog. How many pounds is the Bay Area dog? That is a very good question. We'll have our scientists on it immediately. But for now, there he is. The, the good boy. The good dog. We'll be seeing him again, don't worry. One of my favourite things is um, the, the, the artwork that they made for the Capcom beat-em-up bundle. If you look at like there's like a there's like a big group photo that's sort of done at an isometric angle, and right at the bottom, Shiro is in the artwork. They 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 made sure to put him in because he's that important. Yes, that is true. Um, Shiro is used for a, a fairly unusual um, secret in the NES version. Snares version, sorry. Uh, if you stand at a certain angle, at a certain position in front of him, he'll give you extra lives and health. And there's even a joke about that in uh, Final Fight One on the Game Boy Advance, which adds uh, text to uh, to cutscenes before bosses. Now the thing is, I'm certain that that was documented elsewhere before um, the cutting room floor found it. I'm certain it was in a magazine, but I cannot for the life of me find it anymore. Like, I'm talking like back in the 90s, it was documented. Oh, there goes my sword anyway. But I've, I've been unable to locate it. Yeah, I think so. I, I think it like it is a known thing, but um, it was it was certainly popularized by the TCRF page. Oh, steak. Anyway, one of, one of the other reasons I really love this stage is the progression because eventually it, the night is going to give way to the dawn and it's, it's really nice it's, it's done across a single stage I am at yeah probably like a VHS tape or something I could have sworn it was in an old issue of a, a book of a magazine called console excess although the scans on the internet don't seem to show it um, they had like a, a fully mapped out uh, guide to Final Fight Guy, and I'm certain it was in there, but apparently it wasn't. One day I'm going to find out what magazine it was. One day. Oh man, the poisons are kicking my ass. Not a complaint. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's right. He doesn't bark until you get close. He's excited. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> once you get close, he's like, hey! Anyway, uh, sexy. This is the theme of the toilet. <laughs> Welcome to the bathroom. Ow, no, get off me. <laughs> it gives a bit of chicken, yeah. <laughs> He, he, just, he just wants a, he just wants a bit of food. He'll, he'll, Shiro will gladly take that steak off your hands. I like to think that uh, Shiro is related to the a similar dog in stage one of the Punisher. Yeah, they do. That's that's what the toilets are there for. It's a clever little trick. Because the, 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 the night is going to give way to the dawn shortly. Oh look, oh, see it's happening already. Oh my god, oh there's, there's way too much happening. <laughs> see, it's, it's, it's starting to get a little brighter out there. Yep. <laughs> Maybe games were movie like the whole time and we just didn't know. At least it's not a day for night shot. <laughs> oh, there he is again. You know what? We'll leave that chicken for, for Shiro. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. I'm going to have to take this one, though. Ah, no, get off. No. If you mash, you can get up a lot quicker, but you gotta, you got to really mash. Oh, well. <laughs> Standing right on top of the health. Isn't that always the way? Woof, okay. Ah, oh, the sun's rising. And there's like four different musical themes across this stage. It's great. I think I think my dream of doing this in less than nine credits is slowly dying, but who knows? There may be a miracle. Oh no! Ah! Oh shit! We were in New York the whole time. <laughs> That's a great little reveal. I love that. In case you didn't know, Metro City is very clearly meant to be New York. And there's the Statue of Liberty. That means this was our planet. <laughs> oh, thank you for the follow. Oh, Ochito Maru. Thank you. You're just in time uh, to see Abigail from Final Fight, famous Street Fighter V superstar. Oh no! Gave uh, gave Hagger the uppies. What else is new? This is obviously a head swap of uh, Andor Junior. Or um, the Andor family. Not not my favourite boss, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, 
And yes, the, the, the sign just says way out is pretty great. Pretty sure that's a one hit KO. Like he can just he can just do a shit ton of damage with that charge up throw. Uh, charge up punch, sorry. <laughs> yeah, Abigail has always been like this. <laughs> no, not when I'm so close. Ah, oh, god damn it. <laughs> No, no more uppies. He's got one pixel, come on. Okay, okay. <laughs> round five clear. We're entering the final round, uptown. Uh, oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, so one of these signs was uh, a very clear um, homage to the, uh, the Coca-Cola logo, so in most versions that, that gets replaced, and uh, in this case, proper games put their logo there. <laughs> that's a little cheeky, but you know, that's fine. We'll, we'll let it slide. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna replace it with something, that's, that's a pretty funny idea, I like that. Yeah, yeah, usually they just change the colours on it, uh, so it doesn't look look like what it's supposed to be anymore. I got a diamond and a hammer. Truly the final fight experience. I mean, I, I think that's a cute little edit. <laughs> Zeni Cola. <laughs> yes. This is when the game starts throwing upwards of like eight and nine people at you at once. It gets pretty nuts. Oh! <laughs> uh, 2P took that chandelier like a champ. Ooh. Ah, no. <laughs> yes, he starts to get. It starts to get a little silly. <laughs> this is why I'm not one credit clearing this game. Um, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, my brain isn't big enough. Yeah, I think a fake Capcom branded thing would be a good edit as well. Oop. Just barely. I haven't seen him do the dive bomb much, to be honest. That's what that's what you gotta mash out when you get knocked down by Andore. Otherwise, he'll, he'll smack you with it. G yeah, I'm, I'm kind of glad that Street Fighter VI is uh, going a little all in on Metro City. I don't know. I think it's cute. Will it have Zombie Belgia though? That's the that's that's the key question. They gotta have him. Oh hi Rachel, we're we're right at the end of a uh, final fight ish, but we we got some we got some more stuff to show off in the extras of this port, including something that might get me in trouble. We'll, we'll see how brave I'm feeling. Thank you. I think there's like a trick to despawn a bunch of the enemies here. You just you just gotta keep going. Like you can just you can just run past a lot of this. Ah no. See ya nerds, I'm out. <laughs> oh, it feels so satisfying when you do a body splash into just a crowd of people. It's great. It's good. No, please, please leave me alone. I'd probably be better at mashing if we were on a pad, but this game doesn't let you reconfigure the controls, so we gotta stick with uh, 
Gotta stick with what we got. If I was on a stick, rather. I'm pretty good at mashing on a stick. That's one of my specialties. I don't have many specialties, but that is one of them. <laughs> oh, I don't I don't think there's quite as many enemies in the SNES version. <laughs> I've never actually made it this far in the SNES version. I get to like round three and then I get a little bored. The poor SNES was trying its absolute best. There's the argument that maybe if it came out later in the system's life, but by that point Final Fight may not have been as relevant as it was. Then again, the Mega CD version was super late, so who knows? Yes, unfortunately there's no rapid fire in this port, which is a shame for Cody and Guy players because you can't use a shortcut to do the infinite. Although I did learn recently, apparently Hagger can do the infinite, it's just the timing is a lot more strict. The famous infinite where you attack the enemy and then turn round. As seen in Cody's, uh, one of Cody's supers in Street Fighter Alpha 3. I do kind of like this slow jams version of Slim Subway Slam. Yeah, yeah, I imagine it, it, the, the timing seems a lot tighter and maybe it's not quite as useful. I don't have it to hand right now, but Murphagator did a very useful thread of um, beat em up strategies and the Hagger Infinite is in there, so uh, you can look that up. Some really useful stuff for Violent Storm in particular. Thank you, the opponent. <laughs> I knew someone would have that link handy. Appreciate it, thank you. I think my favourite one in there is the Double Dragon 2 one where you just... <laughs> the boss just falls off the stage. <laughs> Which is really funny. <laughs> I like that one. That's good. No, don't you dare! D oh, yes, Technos games, absolutely. The most video games. Although, on that subject, you know what's really weird? The versus mode in SNES Combo Tribes is actually really fun. Like, you wouldn't expect it, but it works surprisingly well. No, 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 no. Oh, well. Uh, 12 credits. That's, that's fine, I guess. Probably be 15 before we're done. Yeah, I, um, my brother has a Super Famicom, and one of the games I got for him was the Combo Tribes. And, uh... <laughs> When I wrote about the game, I was like, do you want to try this versus mode? And we actually had a lot of fun. <laughs> it was like, no, 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 one more go, one more go. <laughs> I guess versus modes were sort of a trend for brawler conversions or brawlers. There was a... Uh... I always forget that Turtles in Time on SNES had one. With unique mechanics, even. Uh, anyway, what I'm asking is, uh, when can we when can we run the set in Streets of Rage 2 versus? Oh yeah, it doesn't have a timer, does it? That's weird. I'm not entirely sure why the Mad Gear keep their um, <laughs> their headquarters so well stocked with oil drums, but I, I guess that's just the way it is. Oh, and here's another opportunity for wall jumping if you're a guy. 
Oh, and there's Battle Holly. Ah, no. He gone. Gears need oil to run well, that is true. And if you're after points in this game for whatever reason, you know, some people do, uh, these statues hide jewels behind them. So always pick them up. Ooh, curry, nice. Has pearl diamond, nice. Rare that we get the opportunity to pick the sword back up, but I'll take it. Oh no, oh no, I'm surrounded. <laughs> Okay, it's time for the body splash. No, no, get me out. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, dear. Ah, no. Huge. Uh, Andor and Poison would, of course, go on to be besties in the Street Fighter games. Although I never figured out why they renamed Andor to Hugo. Was it just for respect to uh, Andre the Giant? Maybe it was. A couple more chandeliers. <laughs> Walked right into it. Hold on, there's something very important to chat. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of, uh, there's a couple of Streets of Rage games that do it as well. Like at the very start, um, Streets of Rage 2 and 3 have hidden extra lives. Anyway, we are approaching the final, final fight. This is Belga. But we can't, we can't punch him until we get him out of the chair. Because otherwise we, we hit Jessica, we don't want that. Ah, no. Yeah, this is the, uh, this is the crime lord that we've been walking all this way to fight. And he fights with a crossbow. He would later show up as a zombie in Final Fight Revenge. Oh, no, no. Ah! He's just out of reach. There, there is a there is a way to do this properly. Anyway, oh my god, come on! No, I'm so close. Eat boot. Third. <laughs> you anyway, know, you kind of have to view the ending in this weird. There's this weird angle.
Yeah, people people want have have been asking about where that clip comes from because you can hear someone else's voice in it. So it's probably taken from something else, like many of the other clips, but no one's figured it out. I really like this though. This is cute. They they, they walk they walk all the way back. Kind of reminds me of the House of the Dead endings. A lot of uh, a lot of good pseudonyms here. Yuki Chan's Papa, in particular. Yes, uh, the Japanese dub of Game of Death 2 is where Cody's jump attack comes from. Not while evil still stalks the streets. Cody would later go on to be a criminal and then the mayor of Metro City. Life's weird like that sometimes. No, nope, can't put my name in. <laughs> For some reason, they they don't they don't let you. What time is it? Yes, sometimes he turns into Kenny Omega, <laughs> and that's it. That's final fight. That's the arcade final fight as seen on Double Impact. But there's a shit ton of stuff in the vault for this one. We're not going to look at all of this. You fought well, A. Eh? Thank you. <laughs> so, one of the annoying things is it includes a bunch of uh, the Udon comics that have Final Fight characters in them. But they're all in a weird, fucked up order. This is your third strike, ain't it? What they sending you in for this time? What do you think? Fighting. Y y third strike, huh? Y you get it? But like, you have to unlock them piece by piece and they're not necessarily in the right order. So it's just, it's just kind of strange. Notably, they, they include fan art as well, which is nice. And they don't refer to it as concept art like they did in the Darkstalkers set. There's poison. There's, there's, there's most of Guy. But yeah, like, you unlock a single page here. Which has got, uh, Hagger and Cody having a chat. It's just a little all over the place. I wish they'd have put them all together. You've also got a Guy versus Maki, uh, comic. There's Maki. Maki's cool. Put her in Street Fighter 6, you cowards. Oh, there's some d enemy development art. Roxy, Hollywood. 2P and J. Everybody's favourite guy. Oh, there's the, yeah, this is cute. There's the, uh, some chibi characters. And there's Hagger doing what he does. Here's the concept art for the menu that we've seen. That's pretty nice. I like that. Hagger and Nancy, Hagger's wife. If you think he looks bad, look at, <laughs> look at the other guy in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> Rare footage of Hagger without a moustache. <laughs> Guy Kazama in Rage, I'm sorry. 
You got some storyboards for, uh... Oh, pixel development, here we go. The famous walk! That's good. Oh, we got some pixel art for Hagger. Oh, there it is! There's the Latria! Oh, Poison and Bill Bull. There's the jump. I guess that's uh, Andor. Yeah, yeah, the, you can see like the... Hang on, let's pick it up again. Where is it? Yeah, like, you're seeing it blocked out like that. Yes, it is pretty thin, huh? Nope, no tiles wasted. They've only got so many. Rare Valento fan art. By pushing the attack button repeatedly, the following secrets of moves will be performed. Now, uh, this was used for the uh, Super Famicom box art, I believe. Notice, notice Guy is missing. <laughs> oh, and this is nice. Here's all, there, here's all the people that worked on this version of the game. They won a BAFTA, good for them. Uh, that was for their previous game, Flock. Uh, which is published by Capcom. There we go, that's nice. Poison and Roxy fan art. Some Andor fan art. There's, uh, there's Poison and Roxy. And what's the other one? Oh, yeah, this is a classic. This was used for the, um, for the flyer and the US, um, Mega CD, uh, box art, but with some of the blood removed. So, yeah, there's a lot of extra stuff in here. It's just not very well organized is my issue. Okay, we kind of have to see this, though. I had the crowds eating out of my hands, and with that kind of popularity, it wasn't long before the offers rolled in. Book deals. Mike Hager, the man behind the pile driver. Action figures. <laughs> Wait for it. And soon enough, movies. Hager is the Eliminator. I'll return. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Um no, this is this is someone completely different. This is proper games. Let's see what else you got here. Oh, here's the... I was trying to find this earlier. Clean up Metro City. <laughs> I see he said the thing that he said in the movie. See? But no? <laughs> I will also assist your cause in any way I can. It is my duty as a Bushin warrior. And, uh... To be continued in your game of Final Fight. And then there's a bunch of comics about Cody. There's some Belga artwork. More of this comic. Again, I, I just wish they'd organised it a little better. But there's a lot of interesting stuff here. I'll be your poison. Good. Poison's good, by the way. 
that that's that's an important fact. There he is, the big fellow himself. Ooh, red Jessica art. Oh, hey, I know this artist. <laughs> it's um one of the people who worked on Skullgirls. Yeah, I'd recognise that style anywhere. Oh, hang on. Wanted cut. Oh, that's a deep cut. <laughs> Travers is his is his surname in Final Fight, Streetwise. Deep cut. And there's one more. <laughs> Skullgirls jump scare. <laughs> oh, Belga is in the gaming chair. God damn it. Now, hmm. So, there is one other extra on here. Can you see what it is? I seem to remember this was proper games' idea, and they had to they had to fight to put it in, like they had to get the license and stuff. And yes, yes, yeah, this is a great one. This is the final fight centric episode of the Street Fighter Two, the Street Fighter cartoon, the US one. Okay, do you think I could get away with showing this? <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble, but... Ah. <laughs> I really want to show it. Uh, yes, this would have been the first time an episode had been shown in the UK, I guess. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I suppose. Yeah, yeah, if Crunchyroll had it has it and uh Discotech did do a, a proper release of it. Hmm. Uh, okay. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend that the stream's ending now <laughs> for the for the YouTube upload. That that is a good point, the opponent. However, I do believe that version is missing some scenes, uh, especially the uh, UK released one. Um, it, it's 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 missing bits. So that is in theory a good a, a good extra, but it's not quite complete. Okay, so, um, <laughs> uh, here's where the stream technically ends, uh, thank you for, for watching, uh, next week is the 100th stream and we're gonna play some fucked up arcade archives games, uh, y you'll have to, you'll have to watch the stream to find out what they are, thanks for watching everybody, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop, <laughs> I'm gonna stop the stream, and then I'm going to start it again, and then we're going to watch, I'm going to put the episode on. Oh yeah, it's on Retro Crush as well. <laughs> Bushin Warriors being dispatched to my location. Come and get me, Cap Cops, I'm not scared of you. <laughs> so, I'll, I'll put the, I'll put the, technically the stream is over, but we're, we're going into overtime. <laughs> See you in a minute. <laughs>